Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Fundu Testers. In previous session, we discussed about uh, how to enhance the collection. We have structured all the APIs in a folder way. And then we discussed uh, how to store data in an environment variable. So in this, we are trying to understand how we can execute APIs in a sequential manner. So for example, let's say I wanted to pass some data from A API to B API. In that case, how it can be done? I wanted to pass some data from the A API and then those data I will store in a collection level variable or global level variable and then we have to pass in a next B API and entire operation will be dynamic. So if you are going to run the collection, then this can be useful. So let's discuss and before moving forward, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Fundu Tester. Camera rolling action. We have couple of bots APIs using get specific bot data API. If I execute this API, I will get all the board IDs and board name. And now what I wanted to do, for example, if I wanted to get information of a single board, then we have to basically pass the ID of that particular board. So every time we have to copy this data and then we have to pass with the next API. And what if, for example, let's say this board ID is not present. If I hard code this data and this board ID is not present, the next API is going to fail without any reason because the data was not present. So that is not a bug. Basically, that's a collection issue. How we can pass ID data to next API dynamically? This we are going to discuss. So for that, basically, we have to write a test script in a test section. So here you can see the parameter section. We have to basically go to the test section and then we have to write a script. First and foremost thing is we need to first grab the response from this response body so for that there is a standard syntax from a postman we have to write pm dot response dot json so this line basically give us a response of any api call and we are going to store this response in a variables where response and we have stored a response now once we have a response then we have to first analyze our response in which format so in our case response is stored in an array and inside that we have a couple of a json objects so what we can do we are basically going inside the if loop we are going to write a if loop and then we have to write a array dot is array if the response is a array and then we have to pass this data response data this is the response and we can check one more condition for example if response is null then we are not going to store the data so step forward we are going to give an error so we are going to put one more condition response dot length should be more than zero response dot length greater than zero in that case only we are going to pass this json data so here basically from this response we need to get this particular id detail so response and then for example let's say we wanted to store a zeroth element then we have to pass here zero and then id so this will give us a value of id and then again we are going to store somewhere in a variable so for example let's say i'm going to initialize one more variable which is a board id like this we will get a data of every time we will get data of this but first board id and then we have to store this data into a collection levels uh, there is a syntax pm dot collection variables dot set and here we have to pass a key and value pairs like we have passed in an environment so if I go to the environments and uh, test environment in the here I have passed multiple key and value pairs. So key data will be static data what we wanted to pass. So those data will be static and the value will be dynamic. In this API I am going to pass a, I wanted to store as a board ID. So in double quote I am passing a key as a board ID and value is key. This value we are going to store. So this is done and then if we are going to get some error then to make it uh, more readable or more debuggable, we are going to throw an error. So we'll write a console.log. Here we'll pass an error. Board ID is not present. Board ID is not present. And this is done. We are going to save this. And if I'm going to run this, so we are going to store this data into collection level variable. So I'm going to a collection level variables. Here variables, we don't have any data as of now. But once I'll execute this API, so here the data has been stored and this data I have to pass with the next API. So if I again go into the single board API and now instead of passing a hard coding data in double quote, we have to pass basically a board ID. So whenever we are going to run this API, it will pick data from the variable. So if I run this, 
the data is already available and it is picking this data if i'm going to change the data for example let's say i want a cursive this id i wanted to pass so simply i need to update here this is the first element if i send this the id will change it is a 5d bd something like that if i go to the collection level variable the this data has been changed and then again if i'm going to run this api so now here you can see the data has been changed earlier it was id was 605 something like that and now it is 5bd if i run this api so we are getting another board details and this will work if we have only one id or every time we are going to get a new and new id then we can use this approach but what happens for example let's say this board id is not present or i am going to work on a dedicated board in a real world what happens let's say three teams are working on uh, this api say and uh, they have created a separate board and separate test data so we can not hard code the data there is a high chance that this data is not present on a first position or second position the position may vary so to avoid that avoid the false failure we have to fetch this data dynamically so instead of going to this approach what we can do i'm going to write a one more for, for loop and based on this particular id this id i am going to pass as a static data so for example where desire board id i'm going to store this id as a automation and then i'm going to uh, create one more variable which is a board id with this variable i'm going to store a board id as of now initial this variable will be a null so i'm going to write a one more for loop basically i will iterate i will loop through this entire rec data so for where i is equal to zero and we have to iterate of a till the length i less than response dot length and then we have to write i plus plus this is standard for loop we have to write like this response dot here we have passed a id and value is static but here we are looping through the i variable so instead of passing a hard coded data we have to pass a i so it will basically check first element second element third element and we are going to get a name so here we have to make sure we because we are going to get get data based on the name so if we are going to get a name of this particular variable then we are going to just will get that particular id now we have to make sure that this name is equal to desired board ids we have to write inside the if statement if this data is equal to the desired board id then we are going to get that particular id so in that case what we will do uh, we are going to store this board id with this particular variable so board id is equal to response of i and then we are going to face the id so in this case it will store this particular automation id into a board id and then we will break this condition we will break this condition we will come out of this loop and then we are going to write a one more if condition if for example board id is not null board id is not equal to null then only we are going to store this data pm dot collection level variables dot set and then we will basically we are going to use the basically the same passing this and else we will throw the error board id is not present so this is done now in this scenario we were hard coding the data but uh, above scenario we were not a hard coding data we are because we are basically check automation is present and then only we are going to grab the data of a automation so if i'm going to save this and i'm going to this level and i'm going to collection level and i'm going to delete the data save this i'm closing this and i'm running this particular api send this api has been sent and now i it should fetch automation data so if i'm sending this so now it is sending a automation data if i change the data for example now if i pass the cursive here so it will basically fetch cursive for loop basically decide this data is present or not and based on that we are getting a id so if i'm passing a cursive here and send so now this time it will get the id of that cursive value and if i'm passing a some invalid data some dummy data test data that board is not present then we will get an error so i'm going to save this uh we'll open the console so view so postman cut here we will get all the errors so i'm going to run this api and here it is saying a board id is not present this is the what we are logging this id is not present so it is saying a board id is not present and it will fail the next api so like this we can parse data from the first api and we can store with the collection level data or environment level data or anywhere we wanted to store that data global level 
and then we can pass it with the next API. So this is how sequential API we can run. In next session, we are going to cover a cards API and we will see different way of uh, grabbing data from our API response and how we can execute APIs in a sequence. I hope this video is informative to you and if you have any doubt, feel free to ask me in a comment section. And don't forget to like and share this video with your friend and don't forget to subscribe for new testers. Thank you so much.